back throw can... Back throw actually isn't it. I think that's forward throw. Which one is? Forward throw kills? Not back throw? Uh, not as much in this game anymore. It used to. It, oh, someone's Joy-Con is low battery. Come on, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and see what the round start is. Both of them just being very careful, not willing to approach. Well, when it comes to a character like Pichu, yeah, you want to be as careful as possible because one combo, especially on a character like Wario, yeah, you're going to get hit from 0 to 50, no problem. Woo! Wow, 18% up one, up two, up there. Oh my goodness, okay, there's that good old command grab. Yep. Wonderful. Gonna keep him off stage one more time. He's gonna be able to cash that. Yes, he will with the dash attack. And still keeping up the control. Zeno's not gonna be able to reposition quite yet, but there we go. Oh, but he tries to reversal the situation rather than returning to neutral. And that actually costs him. Gloopney said, okay, you know what? You're gonna go back off stage and try to edge guard me. I'm gonna go ahead and just edge guard you right back. And you're gonna die because I was at 30. You were at a 118. You had no reason to do that. And that's an unfortunate SD2 as well. Under a minute, two stocks gone already. Plutonia is just pretty pretty right now. I mean, all he really has to do is just space out. And that's what he seems to be doing. He's making these openings just come to him. Double down till, still continuing forward with that damage. I mean, this is really hard for Pichu to come back. One stock difference, I can see it just because Pichu can get some really early kills, but two stock, it really makes it difficult. Especially against a character like Wario, who hasn't even used his WAF yet. It's a yep. lot of uh, possibilities uh, for Gloopy to get the kill very easily. Yeah, and that WAF is on the way, too. Very smart for Gluttony, actually. He used the bike uh, and kept himself at the ledge. He used it to shield from any Thunder Gold approaches. Very smart, though. Very nice way to uh, neutralize that tool. Oh, uh, the forward smith is definitely going to take care of that. Yep. Too, uh, too big of a whip. <laughs> and I also Force. find, I find immense irony in the fact that his name is Gluttony and he plays Wario. Just... Nah, man, he probably he probably picked this tag around his character, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the history of Gluttony, but what I do know is that Gluttony had a very convincing match this time around. I know one of the stocks is an SD, but yeah. Gluttony, I think, just in general, he kept control, and Xenos wasn't able to reposition, and then when Xenos had opportunities to, he didn't take them. He just went and tried to reversal when he didn't really have the data or the knowledge to know how he's going to get or keep that, that time around. You know, as far as this matchup, I was talking to K9 the other day about what he thought about Wario, and he said that uh, some dis some uh, staggering states, like when Wario gets hit and he's sort of like, I don't know what to call it, but basically some disadvantage states are just way worse than others. Uh, when, when I see it, I'll point it out. Okay. Right, here we go. I mean, just in general, neither of these two characters have the greatest of range, so that actually worked out for Wario. This is the only, the only thing you have to be worried about. Zeno's going to pull out the third drill to try to go in for a mix-up afterwards on shield. But Gluttony looks like he's aware of that and he's doing a good job of avoiding it as well. Okay, some nice combos coming out of Zeno's here. Great positioning as well. Oh, pulling out the bike. Yeah, there's a lot of frames that uh, go into picking up that bike. I think a lot of yep. warriors actually want you to pick up that bike a lot of the time. Yep, all right. Throwing the bike. Be able to heal a little bit. It's going to tire. Oh, that back could have killed. Man, Gluttony is trying to make all these resets right there with that reverse force man, trying to catch a roll or something. Not quite going to work out. And the wonderful thing about a, a character like Pichu, that size allows you to cross under very well. Like, I've seen a lot of with forward airs from Gluttony. Clips by the Thunder Troll, gets that parry in. Very nice defense come from Gluttony. Oh. Down to dash attack, not quite going to work out. But the down smash, not quite going to kill on uh, Town City either. Tallest ceiling in the game. Yeah, that was a risky down smash too, making it work out. Hey. Very smart from Luffy. He used the bike, he hit it, and that extended the hitbox on it. And so that gave him more time to be able to catch Xenos when he was in shield drop. Uh, that's a wonderful way to use the bike, too. A lot of people can also use it, you know, whap, uh, with the bike at the ledge. It'll keep the whap for a very long time and be a very great ledge trap as well. Oh, yeah. And that back air is so strong. You really can see how well that uh, Kutani has been working with the spacing. Yep. All right, Mike's on the stage. Waft is available oh. too. Wow, and he waited for the high recovery too. And he's able to throw the bike. And he almost fell for it again, but Xenos is barely going to clip through. Oh my god. That explosion for the bike really kind of uh, seals you too. It's hard to see. Oh, there it is. Wow, okay. Down tilt into dash attack. Killing off the top. Yep. Very reliable kill comfort for war at these higher percents. Yeah, it appears to be so. Okay. Down tilt, down tilt. Yeah, didn't get a trip off of that. But still continuing on the pressure, get a little bit more damage. Looking at potentially another three stock, even without the um, 
even without the SD from Xenos this time around. Waft is available at full force now. We're gonna have to see how Xenos plays around it. Try and potentially come back around, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Two forward airs and an up tilt into the Waft, but he's not gonna get the rising hitbox out of it. But he still gets the pressure at the ledge. Even oh! With, oh my god! <laughs> he had nothing to lose. <laughs> I don't even know what he hit him with. It was probably a fair, but it just looks so cool with the red lightning and you have no idea what's going on. And double three stock from Gluttony. Very great stuff coming from him and looking like he's trying to get himself warmed up for Prime Saga right now. All right, man. Well, that'll be that.